It's another sunny day at Construction HQ. I wonder what Mr. Rubble has in store today. Wow, they're building a crazy golf course. They're almost done in no time. Diggly and Daisy are putting in the finishing touches. Great, the windmill is in place. Now it's time to test it out. Mr. Rubble is going first. He's taking it very seriously. He hits the ball. It rolls over the hills, loops the loop, goes round the roundabout, through the pipe, and hang on, where is the ball gone? Aha, there it is. That's not right, it's gone off the course. Diggly hits the ball back up the chute. He's plugging the pipe with a cork to stop it from happening again. Very clever, Diggly. But where's it gone? Ouch! Watch out, Mr. Rubble. Mr. Rubble hits the ball around the bend. Now the windmill. But it's spinning way too fast. Watch out, everyone. Hmm. Maybe they should change the speed of the windmill. There, that's better. Mr. Rubble tries again. And it's straight through and in the hole. Nice work, Mr. Rubble. It's Diggly's turn. The ball goes over the hills, loops the loop, round the roundabout, through the pipe, under the windmill. Wow, it's a hole in one. Now it's Daisy's turn. Whoa, slow down, Daisy. The ball bounces off the rock and hits Mr. Rubble. It bounces off the windmill and it lands in the hole. Hooray for Daisy. The whole construction crew are getting ready for today's job. They're building that crumbly old building. That can't be right. Oh, they're demolishing the building. Daisy is so excited. Soon enough, it's time to get to work. The building looks like it could fall down any moment. It'll be safer to knock it down. Everyone is ready to get started. But wait! Stop everyone, there's a little kitten beside it. Oh no, the kitten could get hurt if they knock it down now. Phew, Diggly stopped them just in time. They need to get the kitten out of harm's way. She's so cute. Ooh, I think Mr. Rubble's afraid of cats. The kitten ran back inside. Oh dear, they can't knock down the building with the kitten inside. Diggly's trying to get her to come out with some milk. Daisy wants to pet the kitten, but Diggly thinks that will frighten her. Oh no, Daisy accidentally hit the building. I think it's going to collapse, but the cat is still inside. What will they do? Maybe Mr. Rubble can help, but he'll have to face his fear of cats. <gasps> Mr. Rubble is small enough to fit inside. Phew, Mr. Rubble saved the kitten. And just in time, that was a close one. Mr. Rubble was very brave to rescue the kitten. I think he's got over his fear of cats now. He's made a friend. It's a really sunny day at Construction HQ. All the crew are having fun playing with a beach ball. Ha, nice one, Mr. Rubble. Now today, they're putting up some traffic lights. In no time at all, they're nearly done. Daisy's just putting the last traffic light up. And now Diggly has to plug them in. There, the lights are all turning on. Oh, they've gone out. Back at HQ, Mr. Rubble's playing with the ball. What's happening to the lights? Now Mr. Rubble is stuck in the dark. Hmm, the power has all gone. That's very strange. Here's the electricity cable. 
It looks okay. I wonder where it leads. Diggly's going to follow it. Mr. Rubble is still stuck in the dark. Diggly and Daisy are following the cable all through the construction site. Oops! It's leading them right through this muddy puddle. Yuck! And even under this archway. Look out, Daisy! But where does it lead? Look! An electricity generator. Look at all that smoke. It must have broken down. That's why the power cut out. How will they get electricity now? Wait, I think Daisy has a plan. The sun. They can use solar panels to make power from the sunshine. Very clever, guys. Daisy puts the last one in place. With all those panels, they should have lots of power. CJ's trying the switch. Hooray! The lights are back on. It worked. Good job. Oh, Mr. Rubble has got into a real mess while he was stuck in the dark. It's a bright sunny day at the construction HQ. Aw, Bump hasn't quite woken up yet. He doesn't like mornings. Here are today's plans. They're going to build a pond. How exciting! This will be so much fun! First, it's up to Diggly to dig the hole. Good job, Diggly! Next, Bump pushes the dirt away and Daisy puts some stones around the edge of the pond. Great! Now all that's left is to fill it up with water. Better get out of the way, Diggly! Bumps turned on the tap and the water runs through the hose. Hmm, Daisy doesn't like that stone. Oh no, the stone landed on the hose. Now the water can't get through. Quick, they need to do something. Daisy's got an idea. She's going to hit the stone. Splash! Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Now the hose has sprung a leak. The water is spraying everywhere. But Mrs. Skip knows what to do. They can use a band-aid to stick the hole shut. There. Good job, everyone. Now the water can flow again. Mr. Rubble wonders where the water's got to. Oops! Mr. Rubble has ended up in the pond. But that's okay. He thinks it's funny too. Splash! Great work, guys! It's a brand new day at Construction HQ. All the vehicles are excited to get to work. I wonder what they're building today. Whoa! Uh -huh. A pancake shack! Oh dear! Diggly doesn't look his usual happy self. I wonder what's wrong. Oh no! Diggly is sick! He can't work today. He'll have to stay home. Time to start work. The first thing to do is dig the foundations. But without Diggly, mm -hmm. how will they dig? Oh. That's not working at all. Daisy can't dig the way Diggly does. Maybe this bro will help. Oops! Mother's going everywhere and Daisy can't keep the drill still. This isn't working either. Oh dear, oh dear. Mm. Diggly is watching from HQ. He really wants to help, but he's still feeling sick. Here's Mrs. Skip with some medicine. That should help. Back on the building site. They still haven't dug the foundations. Oh dear. Splat! Wait, this plank of wood throws dirt into the air. Like a spade. Maybe they can use this to dig the foundations. 
Yes, uh. it works! Uh. Good work, Daisy. She's found a way to dig in her own way in no time at all. There, the Pancake Shack is finished. Aww, Daisy has brought some pancakes to Diggly to make him feel better. What a good friend. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> it's Diggly and Daisy doing some work on the farm. Uh-oh, clumsy Daisy has knocked over a bit of fence. It's Pablo Pig. Cheeky Pablo, he's going to escape the farm. Quick, catch him before he gets away. Go on, Diggly, you can do it. Look, Carlos the calf is sneaking out too. Behind you, Daisy. He's running. Hurry after that calf. Now Pablo's balancing on the fence. Ouch, belly flop. Now he's off again. Whoa, spinning round so much has made Daisy dizzy. Oh no, now Dylan the duck is coming out. You've got to stop them, Daisy. Look out, Daisy. Ducks can swim, but you... Oh dear, those farm animals are really pesky. Pablo Pig is running into the wheat field. He must be hiding in here somewhere. There he is. And there's Litty Lamb too. After them, Diggly. Well done, Diggly. You caught Letty Lamb. Three more to go. That's still in the duck. And Carlos the calf too. Nice work, Daisy. Now you've caught Pablo too. All the animals are back safe and sound. Well done, Diggly and Daisy. With that fence repaired, they won't escape again. It's the construction crew, hard at work building the foundations for a brand new building. Uh-oh, I think it's going to rain. I don't like the look of those storm clouds. Time to get cover. Wait, there's Scout. Watch out, Scout. She's skidding. Careful, Daisy. Oh dear, oh dear. Daisy accidentally hit the girders. Look out, everyone. The whole thing is falling down. Oh no. Scout is trapped down that pit with the girders on top. You have to get her out quick, guys, before the rainwater fills the pit up. I think Diggly is going to move the girders first. Wait, careful. Those girders could fall on top of Scout. That was a close one. I think CJ the cement mixer has an idea. Oh, I see. If we use cement to stick all the girders together, we can drag them out in one go. Clever. Go on, Dozer. Drag those heavy girders out of the way. Great, now the girders are gone. It's up to Diggly and Johnny to dig Scout a way out. Hurry up, guys. The water is getting deeper. You can do it. Diggly and Johnny are digging as fast as they can. Almost there. There, you did it. Scout can drive out now. Well done, Diggly and Johnny. You saved the day in the nick of time. And look now, the sun is coming out again. Good job, everyone. See you again next time. It's the construction crew. Hard at work as usual. Good work, Diggly and Johnny. Hmm, I wonder what's in that crate. Whoa, a yellow circle. A red triangle and a blue square. Mm. Oh. Diggly is right. The blue square will fit at the bottom of the tower. Go on, guys. 
Put it in place. Look out, Dozer. Oh, well, the square is in place at least. Here comes CJ. A little cement. And it's a door. I don't think Dozer liked being shut inside. Now the red triangle. Where does that belong? Aha! At the top of the flagpole. Go on, Diggly. Raise the flag. There. Well done, Diggly. Now just the yellow circle to go. I wonder where that goes. Oh, it's a clock. Which means it belongs at the very top of the clock tower. Somebody will have to go all the way up there. Be brave, Diggly. It's high up, but you can do it. Ready, everyone? Heave! Up and up we go. Don't look down, Diggly. Almost there. Keep pulling. There. Careful, Diggly. Just gently put the clock in place. Well done. You did it. What a brave little digger Diggly is. See you next time. It's a new day on the construction site. Oh dear, Bump is so slow. He's going to be late. Mr Rubble doesn't like it when people are late. Today they're going to build a sand pit. How exciting! Diggly has dug the hole in no time at all. Oh dear, it takes Bump a long time to get anywhere. Now they just need to fill the hole with sand. But oh dear, Bump has to go all the way over there to get it. Bump looks very gloomy. Everyone is so much faster than him. But what's this? Diggly has an idea. Oh, he's making some changes to Bump's engine. Now Bump is so much faster. Whoa! Watch out, Mr. Rubble. Uh-oh. Bump is speeding around out of control. Look out for that pile of dirt. Oh, dear. Poor Bump. He's just not designed to go fast. Diggly is going to change him back. Later on, Diggly and Daisy are trying to load the sand into the sand pit. But it's taking them forever. But wait, with his big scoop, Bump can do that in no time. He may not move fast, but he can move things faster than anyone else. Nice work, Bump. He's very useful just the way he is. Oh, Diggly has a new book. Everyone wants to see. It's all about dinosaurs. But Mr. Rubble is waiting. It's time to start work. Today they're building a roundabout. Soon everyone is hard at work. Diggly just wants to read his book. But now isn't the time. There's work to do. Wait, what's Diggly found? It looks like some old bones. I wonder what they are. Daisy's collecting them up. There are so many. Oh, I think they're dinosaur bones. Now they just need to put them together like a jigsaw puzzle. Everyone is helping put the dinosaur bones together. Done. Uh, that doesn't look right. Oh dear, they'll have to try again. 
What about now? <laughs> no, that's not right either. But wait, on the front cover. That's it. It's a T-Rex skeleton. Now they know what it is, they can put it together properly. Nice work, everyone. Now it can stand in the middle of the roundabout. 